I'm going to demonstrate to you the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. The Xperia Arc is our latest Xperia smartphone. Um, the first thing you see about it is that actually the Xperia Arc has a very, very uh, huge screen. It's 4.2 inch powered by uh, Sony's uh, new um, technology, the Sony Mobile Bravia Engine. So the Bravia Engine is actually the, the uh, image processing um, Enhance, enhance, enhancement uh, technology that enhances the display on the screen. Basically gives you better and more vivid images on screen, be it for your videos or, as well as your images. So um, another thing if you look at it, why is it called the Xperia Arc? Because of its unique Arc design. If you look at the profile from the side, this is a unique Sony Ericsson Cumin curvature design that we created an uh, Arc design behind. And uh, other than, of course, looking good and different from other touchscreen phones, um, the other functionality is that if you hold it this way, if you can look at it, okay, it feels a lot more comfortable and ergonomic. So the screen, let's go back to the screen a bit. Yeah. The screen is the same as the previous one or has changed? No, for the X10, it's 4 inch screen. This is 4.2 inch screen. No, I mean, screen. The, is it a LCD screen or super LCD okay. screen? This is a LED backlit LCD screen. Okay. okay. But we have the Sony Mobile Bravia engine um, that Running we, the engine is the one that makes it the difference. Correct. The engine is the one that makes it a lot more vivid. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, we have something called the clear black front on standby. So if you look at this and compare it with another model, um, the screen on standby is uh, very very black, the panel. So of course other than looking premium, right, it has another function because uh, if you were to buy an LCD TV for example, um, normally people will ask you to get something with a blacker panel. The whole reason is because with a blacker panel, the perception of color is better. If you compare this side by side and next then, you can see that it's slightly grey, but the Xperia Arc is very black. So. Another thing that we have that is very uh, that's an improvement from the screen from the X10 is that if you look if you look from this way, okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see from here. So if you tilt your head slightly, you look from the side, you realize that the screen is actually the touch screen is actually touching on that mineral grass um, protective layer right. on the uh, that that we have on the Xperia R. Yep. Why? Because we call this a no air gap display, so there isn't a gap between the actual touch screen and the glass panel. So what's the significance is when you are outdoors, because a lot of people are complaining that touch screen phones, um, you actually get a lot of reflection when you're outdoors. With that zero air gap, or no air gap, you are actually able to see better and clearer pictures when you're in outdoors. Okay. Right. Another mark improvement. So enough about the screen. Let me move back to this, which is the camera. Okay, you know that the X10 has a very good camera, which is 8.1 megapixel camera. So this Xperia Arc has a 8.1 megapixel camera as well, but it sports an LED flash, and on top of it, it's actually um, powered by Xmo R for mobile. Xmo R for mobile is a Sony camera sensor that is being used in handy cam products or even their cyber shop products. Okay. So technically, it's called a back illuminated sensor right. that allows more lights to go into the sensor before so the minimum lux that you can take. Sorry, minimum lux that you can take. Um, I do not have the. Have yeah, the okay. I'll, we get back to you on that. Yeah. So at the same time, it has an aperture of f2.4. A okay. typical digital camera is a f2.8. Okay. So with f2.4, with a larger aperture combined with that Xmo R for mobile sensor, it gives you a lot uh, of a better image and video uh, in low light situation. Okay. Of course, later on you will get to try it. Out Would as the well. arc actually prevent the pictures? I mean, the camera is in it, you know, positioned in a way that the arc doesn't get in the way. No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. Okay. So when you hold it, you can see take photos like that. Let me demo the UI sure. for example. So this is how the camera UI looks like. Okay. So you can shift it out to do your settings. So let me demo taking a picture. And you can preview it here. So you can see how sharp the quality is of the picture. Of course, the screen is multi-touch. So these are some of the pictures that I have. Okay, and the cool thing about Xmo R is you don't need to use the flash. The whole point is because of more light, um, you take better quality pictures in low light. Because when you use flash, you tend to have, especially if you take a subject or a, a person, for example, in a club, let's say, uh, you tend to have very overexposed subject, but your background is actually under is, is too, is underexposed or black completely. So this helps you take better pictures in that situation. Or if you're out and about, right, um, you take night scenes, you actually get clearer and better images. Yeah. What about video? Video as well. It's actually the sensor, so it it is uh it works for both video as well as for photo. Can you take uh, HD video? It does take HD videos as well. Seven twenty p. Okay. Yeah. So um maybe with the camera um 
uh, go on to the inside of the phone. Yeah. So um, this is powered by Android 2.3 yes. Gingerbread, which is the latest Android for smartphones. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to show you is not about just the, the, the Android capabilities, it's how we enhance the user interface. We have some in improvement in terms of the user interface. So first of all, I'll just show you the home screen. So what we have here is the different home screens that you see. We have uh, five home screens which I can put different widgets of course. So in order for me to let's say touch a certain widget, okay, I have this new feature called pinch to overview. Just let me demo it to you. I just need to pinch the screen. Okay, let me do it again. All the widgets on my home screen will appear in one screen. So for example, if I want to go to my track ID widget, I click on the track ID widget here, it goes to that page that has that widget. So just to do it again, now I want to go and see my calendar. Maybe I have some key appointments today. It goes to that, that screen. So this is number one. And number two, if I go into my um, application tree, you see this little arrow here? This is a Sony Ericsson uh, user interface whereby we can actually sort all your application icons in these four different manners. So for example, I'm now sorting it by alphabetical order. I can actually go to most used and it resorts everything by itself. It's really up to you what you want and own order means you can do it by your own um, configuration. So when you go to this mode, own order, just click on this button here and you can shift to whichever position that you desire. Okay, so let's go back um, to the main screen. So what I'm going to show you next is something we call the quick folders. Okay, so what, did, what does quick folder do? It's very simple. So assuming I take this out, this icon out from my application tray to my home screen, so I have a messaging icon here. So I want to group it with maybe um, email because it's a total um, my all my communications in one place. So I take the email, stack it on top of the messaging icon, release it, and immediately it forms uh, it, it prompts you to form a folder. Right. So okay. you can name the folder to whatever you want, or if not, there's some pre-selection of icons right. and names. Let's say for example social, which is a little balloon, conversational balloon. When you click done, there you go. Right. How it looks like? Here you go. You can actually add as many as you want. You can scroll down. So, example of a folder that I have here. Um, so far, I've tried over 50. So far, so good. But I don't think anyone would actually put 50 or 60 icons in there. So, there isn't really a, a, a very uh, a, a cap to it, actually. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, these are the new um, features of the, uh, What's the processor. Like? Processor is 1 gigahertz. Okay. So, it has a separate Use Adreno. Um, no, it doesn't use the arm. It uses the Qualcomm um, MS855. And what it does is it has a separate uh, processor, uh, graphic processing unit. Right. So that therefore the um, processing speed is a bit, uh, is, is a is a better processing speed compared to the X10 because it has a separate GPU. Okay. Yeah. So in a nutshell, see and be seen. Something that you like to be seen with really because of its very very slick and uh, nice arc design. By the way, it's only 8.7 mm thin at the slimmest part. The 4.2 multi touch screen with no air gap display. All black standby, like I mentioned earlier on, powered by Bravia and the mobile Bravia engine. Mm -hmm. Wonderful camera for low light um, pictures and videos, powered with uh, Sony's XMO R technology. And of course, our own uh, unique user interface on top of the latest Android for smartphones, Android 2.3. Yeah, when is it available? This is available in end of Q1, so you'll probably see it very, Q1 very soon. Uh, March? Um, end of March. Uh, end of March. Yeah. Right. So, more details will be released. Uh, price point, um, we will also be updating um, okay. closer any to launch. Any, because it's launched in the US, so any re retail price that we are all expecting? Um, at this point, uh, we, we have not finalized it yet, so closer to launch, you will be informed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Okay.